World War II's lesser-known theater, the Middle East, witnessed a pivotal showdown between Allied and Axis forces. The scorching deserts of North Africa and the Middle East became a battleground for some of history's greatest military leaders. This is the story of the Desert Generals, the theater of war. In 1940, Italy's fascist regime, led by Benito Mussolini, declared war on Britain and France. The Middle East, with its strategic ports and oil reserves, became a crucial prize. Key players, the Desert Generals. One, Irvin Rommel, the Desert Fox. Germany's legendary field marshal, known for his tactical genius and innovative strategies. Two, Bernard Montgomery, Britain's esteemed general, who led the Eighth Army to victory against Rommel's forces. Three, Claude Auchinleck, Britain's commander-in-chief in the Middle East overseeing the North African campaign. Major battles. Battle of El Alamein, 1942. Montgomery's decisive victory marked a turning point in the North African campaign. Two, Battle of Tobruk. 1942. Rommel's forces captured the strategic Libyan port, threatening Allied supply lines. 3. Battle of Gazala, 1942. Auchinleck's forces clashed with Rommel's, resulting in a stalemate. Tactical innovations. The Desert Generals employed innovative tactics. Mobile warfare. Rommel's use of rapid armoured columns. 2. Intelligence gathering. Montgomery's reliance on code breaking and reconnaissance. 3. Logistical mastery, Auchinleck's management of supply lines, consequences and legacy. The Middle East campaign had far-reaching consequences. 1. Allied momentum. The Desert General's victories paved the way for the Allied invasion of Italy. 2. Axis defeat. The loss of North Africa weakened Germany's position in Europe. 3. Lasting impact. The campaign shaped modern desert warfare tactics. Conclusion. The Desert General's showdown in the Middle East remains an epic tale of strategic brilliance, courage and sacrifice. Their legacy continues to inspire military leaders and historians alike.